Hey guys, so the title of this video is not clickbait. I got a new hamster. Before I introduce my new hamster and show his cage and everything, there are quite a few things I wanna go over in this video just because I know a lot of you are going to have a ton of questions. So I'm going to go over all of that first. So I just want to start off this video by addressing the question and the concern I know I'm gonna get the most. And that is I said I wasn't getting any more pets because last year I actually did rehome three of my reptiles and I said I wasn't getting any more. I have to admit that video didn't go over quite like I planned because I'm very bad at explaining stuff. I am a pretty private person and I don't like going into a lot of details about like specifics. So I was pretty vague in that video and I think like the overall reasonings I gave for why I rehomed my pets confused a lot of you. So I do understand why some of you might be concerned that I already did get a new pet, but I do feel like I'm in a much better place now and I feel fully capable of taking care of this new hamster. I still don't have any plans on getting any more new reptiles. But when I did rehome my pets, I didn't rehome any hamsters. Both of my hamsters actually did unexpectedly pass away. I wasn't planning on not having hamsters anymore. So I did go ahead and get a hamster. I just wanted to explain that really quick. But I know that some of you are going to be very critical of my choice to get a new pet right now. And I can't say I blame you. I completely understand. But I do want to assure you guys that I would not have got this new hamster if I didn't think I was ready to take care of it in every regard. So I had been missing owning a hamster a lot but I didn't want to go out and just buy one that didn't feel right but then a week or so ago I got a DM from a local PetSmart worker who said hey we have this dwarf hamster they gave me his story and asked if I wanted to adopt him or if I knew anybody that did so basically what happened at PetSmart is this dwarf hamster had gotten a fight with another hamster and one of its eyes was a little messed up it wasn't a serious injury where he would lose his eye or anything but the eye was a bit bulgy so the workers didn't feel comfortable just selling it and having it go to like a kid or something who might not treat it really nice because its eye is going to be a little bit more sensitive so that's why they reached out to me just to see if I had any ideas and if I wanted to adopt him. One point that I do want to make very clear in this video because I've had similar videos in the past and a lot of people get really confused at this fact. When I say I'm adopting a hamster from PetSmart that's not the same thing as buying a hamster at PetSmart. A lot of people go into PetSmart and just buy a hamster and they say they rescued it because it was a bad situation but when you buy one of the PetSmart hamsters all it does is shows PetSmart that the hamsters are selling they're profiting from it so they're going to keep replacing that hamster so although you might have helped that one animal more animals are just going to come in in that hamster spot because they're making the store money when you adopt from PetSmart on the other hand you don't pay anything there's no adoption fee you're not actually buying the hamster so PetSmart itself doesn't profit PetSmart actually lost money on this animal because they did have to have a vet look at it and then they just gave it to me instead of selling it so it doesn't show PetSmart that hamsters are in demand and they're not making any profit. He was up for adoption instead of being sold because he was classified as special needs from his eye so they weren't able to sell him so basically it's the same thing as like adopting from a shelter because no one is profiting from the situation. A lot of the times in my videos like this people just hear the word PetSmart and they automatically assume that I just went in and bought him and called it a rescue but he wasn't bought he was for free. A lot of PetSmarts do adopt out hamsters but they just don't advertise it. They generally keep them in the back of the store so you can either go into a local PetSmart and ask if they have any adoptable hamsters or just call them on the phone and see if they have any in the back that needs a home. So hopefully that clears up the whole bot versus adoption thing. Yes, he's from PetSmart. No, I didn't pay for him. He was a true adoption. The next thing is I know I've always said I didn't want a dwarf hamster again. Every time you guys ask, which is quite a bit, I always say I prefer Syrian hamsters. I've had more Syrians in the past and I've just connected with them more. But when I got this DM, for some reason, I just felt really attached to this little guy and it's been a few years since I've had a dwarf. He needed a home. I had an empty spot. So I thought I would go ahead and give him a chance and bring the little guy home. So I actually already had everything I needed for him. I had a brand new cage that I had bought for a past hamster that I never had the chance to use that I'd been wanting to do a review on. So I was able to use that. So I got all my supplies and I went to PetSmart after work to pick him up. So now that I've kind of explained where he came from, why I got a hamster and all of the boring stuff you guys probably don't care about, I want to introduce you to my new hamster and show you his cage. I'm actually in the pet room right now but he's not in here. He's actually in my bedroom. I just have him like in a little quarantine just to make sure he's healthy and everything before I move him into the pet room. Once I do he'll be going under the gerbils aquarium but for now he's in my bedroom so let's go in there and take a look at my new hamster. Okay so I'm sorry for the change in lighting. Like I said he's in my bedroom and I don't have very good light in here but this is my new hamster's cage. So I actually got this cage on Amazon. I'll put the full name of it up on the screen in case you guys want to check
check it out. I don't know the exact dimensions right now, but I do know it is pretty large and it's definitely over 450 square inches. I also believe it's only around $60 maybe. I know on Amazon the prices do change, but I don't think I paid that much. You can barely see him. You guys probably can't see him, but he is right back there. But that is the cage he's in. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. It has a big door on the front and then it also has a big door on the top. So let's go ahead and I know you guys really want to see him. I've only had him for about a week, so he is still very shy. I've started hand feeding him treats, but I am taking it slow just so I don't stress him out. But he is back there. Hopefully he'll come out. For now, I'll just give you a quick little rundown of his enclosure. So his bedding is just some Carefresh. This is one of the special edition ones from PetSmart. Over here, he has this sand bath. Since I've had Syrians in the past, I forgot how much dwarfs absolutely love sand baths. He spends a ton of time in here. You can tell he also uses it as a litter box, which is pretty nice because it lets me spot clean really easy, which I definitely need to be doing. And then back behind that, he has a six and a half inch flying saucer. And then he also has a silent spinner. When I first got him, he wouldn't use either one of these and I don't think he knew what to do. But in the past few days, he's been absolutely loving his flying saucer. You can see there's some sand on there. He runs on that all night. I actually haven't seen him use his silent spinner yet, but I like giving him both of them just so we can test him out. So for now, he's definitely a fan of the saucer, but I'm sure he'll try out the wheel at some point. And then over in the middle, he just has this big climbing gym that a friend actually gave me. He has a little strawberry loofah chew. Back in the back, he has a wood tunnel from PetSmart. And then up in the front, he has his food dish, which right now just has the Higgins sunburst. I think he ate all of his pellets. I need to refill that. He has the pear hide over in the corner. He also has a little water dish right now in front of his water bottle that I was trying out. I don't know if I'll leave it in there or not, but I thought it was fun to try out. And then back in the back, he has a pink igloo and another little chew. I'll just go ahead and move this so we can see him. So I'm not going to get him out or anything because like I said, he is still new. We are working on taming, but I've only had him about a week. And I actually don't think I've said his name yet. I have named him. This is like the first pet I've ever named before I got him. It's a ridiculous name, but his name is actually Gerg. I don't remember the exact reason when I came up with Gerg, but basically I have a horrible sense of humor and I just thought it would be fun funny because a lot of people will assume I meant to say Greg and I just had a typo or something and switched it around but Gerg is actually Greg backwards and I know it's not funny but let me have this. So his name is Gerg. You're not going to be able to see it in this video because it is his right eye but his right eye does have a little sore by it. He's not on any medication right now because it's not that severe but I have been keeping an eye on it in case he needs any antibiotics or anything. It looks like he has some type of treat he's eating right now. He must have pulled something out of his food bowl. But I'm sorry you can't get a little bit closer look at him in this video, but I'll definitely have a ton more videos coming up about him. But that is the new hamster. So that was my new hamster, Gerg. I know it is a ridiculous name, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing him and you enjoyed his cage setup. I know a lot of you have been wanting a hamsters back on this channel for a while, so I'm really excited to make some more hamster content. And I'm just even more excited to have a hamster back in my life because it hasn't been too long since I've had one, but since I've started owning hamsters, this has been the longest span. I've never actually went without one before, so I'm very excited to have a hamster again. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you have already and I will see you guys next time.